because it's Taco Tuesday on a Friday. <laughs> hey guys, it's 5 o'clock, 5 p.m., and I'm finally out filming. Why? Because when a contractor says he'll come to your house at a window between 9 and 10.30, he really means 4 o'clock. Yeah. Anyway, we're down at the White House. Let's go see if we can find some cool stuff. It is hot. It is like 93 degrees outside, and it is oppressively humid. And Biden left. Yeah, Biden left earlier today, about 11 o'clock, while I was waiting for the contractor. Marine One came in. I missed it, and I saw it on the webcam, but I didn't see it in person. Marine Two left this morning as well. I missed that. And that was kind of close to my house. I could have gone and seen that. Not only that, but one of the last Tuskegee Airmen, he died and was laid to rest today in Arlington with a flyover of F-16s painted with red tails just because, you know, he used to fly the P-51 Mustang with the red tails. And I missed that too. I also missed a suspicious package at the White House Visitor Center, which is just down here to the right. It has a whole fire department and bomb squad out. Nope, I was waiting for a contractor. <sighs> anyway, so that's all the stuff you missed today because some people don't know how to read a watch. <laughs> but let's see what we can find now that we are out free and moving around the city because I did just get there's an alert, there's a protest going on. Hey, but when isn't there a protest? Yeah, it's Washington. Let's go down to the Department of Justice and see what protest we can find today. So, up ahead, an engine, a fire truck is coming, and an ambulance is just cut over that way. Let's see what we can find. Go oh, quick. There goes the fire truck. I think he's coming this way, yeah? There's the White House Visitor Center. It's all sealed up right now. Let's see if this fire truck comes behind us, yeah? And park police are rolling, and another fire truck on the other side of the park. Man, it's a busy day here. Okay, well, we got a fire truck here, fire truck there, park police there, ambulance up ahead, something up, and protest veterans for peace. This is the Poor People's March or something like that that's going to go on. And they're marching tomorrow. I'm actually able to bicycle faster than the fire truck in traffic. <laughs> National Union of the Homeless, Veterans for Peace, lots of different groups out here. Where's the fire truck going? Right in the bike lane. That's where he's going. No just yield. Okay, that was kind of a small protest. Let's go back around. Look at this traffic, guys. Is this just a mess or what? Now, yeah, there is traffic. The city has come back to life. There are a lot of people working. But 
a lot of this is because there's two major events in DC right now blocking off roads. Uh, Pennsylvania Avenue is closed by the Capitol and Independence Avenue is closed by the Air and Space Museum. It's pushing all the cars onto these other roads and well, you know, too many vehicles, too few. The Moral March on Washington, that's the sign. Justice is coming. We are the 140 million mass poor people and low wage workers march. That's what they say. Green New Deal for housing. I know justice is coming soon. Green New Deal is on the horizon. Mm, yeah, uh, maybe you should read a newspaper. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Here's those fire trucks we saw earlier. And they got a, oh, someone's down. And on the south lawn today, not much, big flowers. Don't even see the dog. Let's see if we can get through here. Just follow the cop. Sounds like some people. Oof. Okay, they got fences here. Because I'm not paying. I think it's like a three day pass is like $400 to go to this concert or something. It's a bit mental, yeah? They got a stage there. I got like three different stages set up. For it's, it's called the In the Water Festival, as in something's in the water. There's the fire truck we saw earlier. And yeah, the snow plows are out, guys. Release the snow plows. Snow plows are portable barricades in the District of Columbia, used to block roads for protests and other events like this. See what we see. Look at all the cops pulling over the ice cream man. He must want ice cream for free. Federal Protective Service, Homeland Security's motorcycle cops. Homeland Security is in charge of all government buildings like the EPA and the Department of Energy and all those different uh, random government agencies who need a police force. That's uh, the Federal Protective Service, FPS, part of DHS, Department of Homeland Security. The street's empty. Let's go in the street. And there's the stage. Look at that stage, man. Taking up the whole bloody road. Lots of cops. Lots of cops. More snow plows. I hear a thumping bass. We're like behind the stage here. This is like the backstage entrance. Let's go down this way. We gotta go. Definitely a big crowd over there. So, everybody who needs to go in is going around. This is the FAA, Federal Aviation Administration. Their offices are right here. They're sort of stuck in the middle of this concert. Holy cow, I think. Oh, check it out, there's a train. Let's look at the train first, guys. Because trains are cool.
white. I like trains. Any of you guys know ASDF or AX? I like trains is a recurring joke on that. It's one of my favorite internet cartoons. Let me show you this crowd, guys. Holy cow. And there's the ticket line. Whew. Everybody's going in down there. It smells interesting here, guys. <laughs> it smells like uh, potpourri, yeah? Or incense. Or some other burning substance. See all the cops lined up down there. The whole road is just police. Concert goers are over here. And the police department have themselves in a recreational vehicle. <laughs> it's a Bearcat, the ERT, the DC SWAT team, emergency response team. They brought their armored car out here. Oh, maybe they like music. Maybe they got some intel. Let's bail. Ah, back at the White House. like mulch. Hmm. So guys, that was my abbreviated day. Sorry, I couldn't show you more. I'll keep at it this weekend. Hey, by the way, at the end of the day, Arlington National Cemetery put out a video of the funeral of Charles McGee. Uh, they released it in the public domain. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the end of this video so you guys can see what I couldn't show you this morning. But well, what should be watched? This guy was a real American hero. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye -bye.